Hey what's up guys this is Nayashik from blogdude.com and in this video we'll see how to secure your WordPress website from different hackers, different attacks or anyone you know injecting any script or code on your website. And before proceeding make sure you subscribe to my channel and also press that bell icon so that you don't miss any further videos. So let's get started. To do so go to your dashboard, hover appearances and click on add new to add a new plugin. Now here search for iTheme security. This is the one which we'll be using uh, in this video. This is a free and awesome plugin. As you can see it has got more than 800,000 active installs and a great rating. Okay. This is by iThemes. So just click on this install now button. Now activate this plugin. Okay. So you'll see these two messages over here. Okay. Just cut both of these. Now at the left hand side you will see a new bar over here which says security. Just click on security. First it will do a security check. So just click on the secure, secure side button. Now they will ask you for your email. So just put in your email address over here and click on activate network brute force protection. We will see what this is later on. Okay. Now make sure you have all these green tick marks over here. Okay. Now click on close button. Okay, so we have done with security check. Next one is global settings. Click on configure settings. Here there are different options. Let's see one by one. First one is to allow this plugin to write codes on our WP config and HT access file. So make sure this is tick marked. Next one is notification email. As you can see at present your email is over here. This is the email where you'll receive uh, alerts when someone is trying to hack your website or, or when someone is attacking your website. If you want to enter more uh, email address more than one email address you can just enter them on next line. Okay third one is send digest mail. So basically what does this mean if you tick mark this thing which I recommend doing you will receive one email address. Okay so someone is attacking your website suppose three or four person have tried to attack to your website. So you won't be getting four or five email email per day. Okay what will happen is they will digest they will make one particular email and send you that. So that is very useful. Here is the backup delivery email. So make sure you put more than one email address that would be fine. So what does this mean by the way? This particular means that they will back up your database and send you on this particular email. Very important. If suppose tomorrow someone attacks your website and deletes all the data you can use this database file and you will be able to recover most of the things. Then here are different lockout messages. Make sure just don't need to change anything over here. Okay. If you want to change you can change it. I don't see a very important step. Next one is blacklist repeat offender. Make sure this is enabled. If this box is checked or it is enabled the IP address of the offending computer will be added to the ban users blacklist after reaching the number of listed below. Okay here as you can see number of lockouts three lockouts. So if, uh, if that IP address has uh, reached three lockouts he will be automatically added to the ban users list. Okay. And as you can see next one is blacklist lockout period. How many days should a lockout be remembered to meet the blacklist count above? So we will say seven days. Okay. So within seven days if, it, if anyone tries to uh, attack your website three times and they get a lockout for three times they will be added to the banned user list. And make sure just you don't need to change this thing. You can read what this is. The length of a time a host or user will be banned from this site after hitting the limit of bad login. Okay. So after hitting the limit of banned login they will be banned for 15 minutes. Now here what you have to do you have to click on this button. It will automatically add your uh, add your IP to the whitelist. That is very important so that you don't get locked out okay which is very important if you're using uh, your website from different places make sure you use and make sure you put in all those ip addresses over here in the black in the whitelist i won't click this because i don't want anyone to know my ip address okay but if you want just click on this button you all your ip address will automatically come up here now rest everything is fine just scroll down till the bottom and click on this save settings And remember we are doing only the most important steps over here. Okay, so we won't be seeing all the settings over here. We'll be see only we'll see only the most important things which are required. Okay, because most of the things are already done by this particular plugin.
so you don't need to change everything next one is 404 detection this is also important so we will enable this and click on configure setting to see what this particular means this particular means that suppose someone is trying to visit to a page or to a file which doesn't exist on your website that triggers us that someone is trying to attack on our website and looking for the file so that they can uh, they can do something bad something dirty with that file so this is the setting for that so minutes to remember 404 uh, uh, error okay so number of minutes in which 404 should be remembered and counted towards lockout okay so five minutes so within five minutes if they receive 20 errors they will be added or that ip address will be added to the band user list i i recommend you to re uh, reduce this to maybe five okay so within five minutes if someone has uh, received 5404 errors they'll be added to the band user list okay now click on save settings away mode away mode let's see what this is first enable this click on configure setting okay so basically what does this mean suppose you know for the fact that you won't be visiting or using your dashboard from maybe 1 a.m to 6 a.m okay so what you can do you can enable this away mode so even if you want to visit or even if you want to log into your dashboard you won't be able to do that so if if you know for the fact then you can do though i won't enable it i will disable it because at present it is 1 30 and i am recording this video 1 30 am so this is not for me but for most of you guys this is the one just click on save setting but i'll disable this now here is the band users let's click on configure setting now here you just have to do one thing just tick mark over here enable hack repairs blacklist feature so basically this uh, this uh, particular website has a blacklist feature so we we want to enable those features fine rest everything is fine just click on save settings next is database backups click on configure settings okay here what you have to do make sure a backup method is only email if you want to save it locally and email you can select this i will select only email i want to uh, receive my database only on my email so that will be fine backup to retain make sure it is zero ba backups because if you make it uh, you know 5 10 whatever then your database will be saved to your server for example if you're using host data they will be saved to your host data server which is not a good thing okay it increases the file size the server size and so on but if you want if you don't care about that then you can increase that i would recommend you to keep this to zero and make sure this is tick mark zip database back so that you know backup so that it, it will reduce the size and we'll get one single file okay a zip file now here is the scheduled database backup enable this now here we'll see what is the interval for the database for example i want uh, my database um, to be mailed every seven days so i'll put seven this basically uh, depends on how often you make changes to your website for example every seven days i write a new blog i type a new blog so i'll put in seven days okay click on save settings now come to this local brute force protection and click on configure setting in this option we are limiting the number of times a user or a person can log into your website for example if we do not do any changes over here then by default wordpress doesn't have a upper limit or a threshold for that for example if someone comes and they start typing some username some password if they are doing that uh, wrong for 100 times still they won't be locked out okay so they can go on and on and on and they can and ultimately they may there are chances that they may come to uh, they may be able to log into your website and they may change some files that would be very bad so we are here here we are putting an upper limit to that for example max login attempt per host so we are seeing only five attempts after five attempts if after five failed attempts he should be added to the band user list max login attempts per user 10 attempts max minute minutes to remember bad logins five minutes okay so this is fine if you want to enable i in fact i would recommend you to enable this one which will automatically ban who anyone who is trying to you know log into your website using the admin username okay and make sure you don't have a admin username which is very dangerous if you have change your username that would be very useful okay 
this is very useful make sure this is tick mark uh, so that you know we know okay someone is trying to do uh, someone is trying to log into our dashboard using this particular username and they will be banned automatically okay click on save settings now come to network brute force protection and click on configure settings the previous setting which we saw was local brute force and here it is network brute force so it is very useful actually if you have a api key and you will have an api key because we entered our email address okay so what happens over here suppose a person or an ip address has tried to attack a website my friends or any website who is using and that website is using i themes okay so that ip address has been added to blacklist on that person's uh, on that person's website but that person uh, will automatically be added on this website also because we have formed a network and suppose someone attacks my website then that person ip address will go to that network and that ip address won't be able to attack someone else's website who's using iThemes so this is very very important okay so don't have to do any changes over here i just thought i should you know tell you what this thing is actually now click on save settings now come to WordPress salts, click on configure setting and check this box. This box basically what this thing is WordPress salt. If you see your WordPress config file, you will have a code over there WordPress salt code. So basically we are saying that anyone who we are setting a code in a very difficult to remember code, for example, such as this password such as this so we are placing this code so you know we, it is very difficult for anyone to come to this combination of alphabet and numbers okay so it will be a uh, difficult for anyone who is trying to attack our website now click on save settings so these were okay fine if once you could do save settings you will be logged out and in fact anyone who is logged into your website will be logged out anywhere if suppose you have you use your website uh, to make changes on your office in your office then in your office also you will be logged out so this is very important okay so that even if someone has you know logged into our website then they will be logged out okay now click on login now again scroll down and go to security you can also click over here okay so you have both the options Okay guys, so these were all the basic settings. We are done with basic settings. Now click on this advanced tab over here and we will be doing the most important, according to me, the most important setting now, okay, which is to hide the backend, okay? Now just click on this configure settings. Now first let me explain you what this means. For example, any website, any WordPress website by default has this wp-admin as the dashboard. For example, if I have to go to your dashboard, if you have a website xyz, so I'll go to xyz.com slash wp-admin and I will go to your dashboard. M means I'll go to the login page and if I can successfully log in, then I will be able to log into your dashboard. Now what we want, we want to hide this. If after we hide this, what will happen? Now after we hide WP admin, now anyone who is trying to put nayashek.com slash WP admin, they will see a 404 page, okay? A page not found, that page is not found. Very, very important, okay? So by this, if you link that setting which we did, 404 detection, both will link and it will be very useful because if someone is again and again trying to visit that website that uh, that page we f know for sure that he's trying to attack our website and we also hide our backend which is very very important just tick mark this which says enable the hide backend feature now here you have to change the login slug for example wp admin what you want instead of wp admin so for example i can say i want uh, Nayas triple seven one two three four five six okay but make sure you write it somewhere so that you yourself don't forget this okay so make sure you just write it somewhere that will be really helpful now here is the enable redirection okay now next one is enable redirection so as i said you earlier when someone will go to this particular page wp admin they will be redirected to a 404 page not found page okay very important Click on save settings. 
now guys these were the most important settings and by doing this you have secured your website to a very great extent and i hope this video was helpful to you if it was helpful then make sure you subscribe to my channel and also press on that bell icon because i have a lot of useful videos on my website on my youtube channel so make sure you subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up to this video if it has helped you and also share with your friends thanks a lot for watching